Tonight, chilling new charges in a family tragedy. Investigators say the killer dressed up like a delivery driver before gunning down three people inside their home. And there are new images tonight of a touching tribute. Friends and family held a vigil to honor one of those who lost their life. Deputies say they're still searching for two more suspects. Our Caroline Cummings is here with more on this brazen attack in broad daylight. Good evening there, Frank. So the Anoka County Sheriff's Office says they caught the gunman just minutes after a countywide alert went out on Friday night. And tonight there are still questions about a motive and who else could be connected. But what we do know are the lives of the two young children in the home will be forever changed. Still hearing yelling. Sounds like the argument's escalating. A 911 call came from this Coon Rapids home on Friday afternoon, though nobody was on the other line. But according to court documents, there were several cameras inside the home that captured what happened. We have multiple people down, and we do not have a weapon on scene yet. Another camera across the street showed a car pull up just after noon. Then the charges say, quote, three suspects exit the vehicle, two wearing clothing similar to UPS delivery driver uniforms, and enter the house. One of the men is carrying a cardboard box as if he's delivering a package. Then inside, the alleged killer, Alonzo Mingo, enters the bedroom wearing that same UPS uniform, holding a man and a woman at gunpoint, asking for money, according to the documents. Family members identified the victims as Mario Trejo, Shannon Patricia Trejo, and Shannon's 20-year-old son, Jorge Reyes Youngworth. The couple's two young children, both under the age of five, were in the house but not hurt, though they witnessed the grisly aftermath. Right now we need to find a gun and maybe another person. Surveillance video captured Mingo's license plate information. No guns were recovered, but that cardboard box, the fake package, was. Court records say Mingo's fingerprints were on it. A spokesperson for UPS confirmed that Mingo was a seasonal worker whose employment ended earlier this month, and the Anoka County Sheriff's Office said they are still seeking information about those additional suspects, but did not say anything more when asked follow-up questions by WCCO. Frank. Okay. Well, we know you'll stay on it. Thanks, Caroline.